it's a great privilege to represent the University of Mississippi Medical Center. We do have a strong history here of uh, research. Uh, as I mentioned, we have had many, many uh, excellent, outstanding researchers here. So just being chosen from our medical center researchers to me is a, is a great honor. We have a really strong bunch of researchers in, in multiple areas, not just cardiovascular, but also in neurosciences and in several other areas. So it is a privilege just to be a nominee from our medical center, even greater to represent the entire University of Mississippi. And still a great surprise to me, but a tremendous honor to represent the Southeast Conference. Winning this award is really, uh, does really open some doors for uh, promoting our research, not just promoting the results of our research, but promoting interest in obesity research. Many people think obesity is just a behavioral problem. It's just something that, you know, with willpower and determination, you can overcome it. But I think the answer uh, is that it is not just a behavioral problem. Most people who are obese don't want to be obese. There are some biological factors and physiological factors that we just do not understand. We know that when you try to lose weight, as an example, that there is a, about a 90 to 95 percent recidivism rate that within one to two years most people gain it back. We're learning about some of the physiology of that. We know that when you try to lose weight, the body resists that weight by reducing your energy expenditure, which fights against the weight loss, and by stimulating your appetite. So we want to use this, uh, I want to use this award if we can, to promote the type of research that we're doing, to promote interest in it, to get people aware of the challenge that we're having with obesity in, in the state of Mississippi, and hopefully to make a difference uh, in terms of our research. And it's not just a one-man job either. We, we really need many people involved in this effort, not just from the research point of view, but also in prevention of obesity and education and many other aspects of it.